Now, a supermarket in North London has become one of the first in the world to introduce plastic-free zones to encourage shoppers to lead more sustainable lives. This is the Thornton's Budgeon store, which is located in Camden's Belsize Park, and it now offers customers more than 1,700 products encased in plastic-free packaging. Well, joining us here in the studio, we can see Andrew Thornton, who uh, runs this store in Belsize Park. Yes. Is that right, Andrew? Um, responding to customer demand or your idea? What's going on? It is our idea. Um, we're really being aware of the plastic thing growing, um, the fact that most plastic isn't recycled, and therefore, and it doesn't break down. It just stays forever. So, like ninety percent of the plastic that has ever been produced is still around somewhere. And I had a very personal experience. I was in the U.S. over the summer. I was on an island, and I cut my foot on a sh uh, crab shell. And I ended up, because there was so much toxin in the ocean, I ended up getting poisoned to my system. I was airlifted to hospital, spent two days on a drip. And when I went back to the island, some of the islanders said, oh, it's great to see you back with your foot, you know, because some of the stuff that's in that ocean is so toxic, it's, it's resistant to antibiotics. So that we were, that's kind of my personal story. And, you know, we can't keep dumping our... I was going to say crap, yes, our crap in the ocean okay. and landfill and so on. Um, and we could do something about it, the, so we decided the, the, to. Some of the plastic that you buy stuff in is decorative and uh, performs no useful function. Oftentimes it does perform a useful mm. function when you buy that veg, the, whatever the vegetables are, the fruit is, that in a paper bag would go off really quite quickly, but sealed in plastic it lasts for longer and that involves fewer uh, air miles, fewer food miles, etc. So this idea that it's it's binary that you know, plastic is just an evil thing we ought to do away with. Mm. It's, it's slightly fatuous. Yeah, I think fruit and veg may be not the best example of, of that. Meat is a great example. Yep. OK, so meat, if you buy it from a butchery counter or you buy fish from our fish counter, we can wrap it in, in paper and give it to you. You don't need a plastic bag. If it's kind of pre-packed somewhere, then it does, it does need that. And we're pre-packing our meat in a tray that's made of sugar cane with a top sealer that's made of, um, uh, gosh. Something uh, that's not plastic. Yeah, not something plastic. that's not plastic. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. It's, that yes, cut, corn it's the cut to the foot, you corn see. You haven't been the same since. Absolutely. No, I haven't. It's a <laughs> cornstarch. So it looks like plastic. It acts like plastic. Yeah. Um, is it more expensive? That one is a little bit more expensive. In time, costs will come down. You know, one of our ambitions with this is to show the big supermarkets that this can be done. And We've done this in 10 weeks, 1,800 uh, products in 10 weeks. It's been a lot of hard work. There's a lot of people, and not me, lots of my team have been working ridiculous hours and really focused. I've never seen them so galvanised in 12 years about something. So it's not easy, and it is easy, mm. if, that, if that makes sense. And in terms of these, these products, the, the, the cornstarch uh, and the sugarcane um, containers, uh, are they recyclable or do they, do they just biodegrade? They you are don't, compostable. You, can, you yes. can put them in your compost yes, bin they or, or whatever. Yes, and they do break down and they do disappear. And also some of the other stuff is not so complicated. So fish, as I said, we just put fish, fish in wax paper and we seal it with the price. It doesn't have to go in a plastic bag. Fruit and veg, we have paper bags. So 80% of our fruit and veg is now either loose and you put it in a paper bag and there's no quality issues with that. Or if we want to bundle 10 apples up together, we use netting that's made of beech wood. So it's the mm. off cut from a beech wood plant where they're cutting, sawing beech wood. Uh, it looks exactly, well, you can see it on the screen there. It looks exactly like one of those, those netting that you get oranges in. But you th if you threw it in your back garden with a pile of leaves, it would disintegrate the same way as the leaves would disintegrate. And, and bread you've just seen on the screen. I mean, that's just in paper. There's yeah, no reason yeah. you have to put bread in plastic. It's ordinarily retro, isn't it? I know my family spent yes. uh, a week just trying to do this uh, and film the whole thing as, as a record of how yes. easy our lives it was. It was. In some respects, it was easier. In other respects, it was harder. But there, there was a sense in which, you know, we, we, we've arrived at the throwaway convenience society, haven't we? But I just wonder whether your staff, for instance, if they're having to... Just, you know, there's no barcode on a, on a paper bag, for instance, yes. whether it's making their life a bit harder. Well, with the, the fruit and veg, it's, it, it's either... The, they look at it or it's self-scanning so the customer puts in what they yeah. want. So I think it's not that difficult. Um, and, and we worked with an organisation called A Plastic Planet whom have done this with the first supermarket in the world to do it in Holland. 
And, you know, my plea to any of the major supermarkets who are listening is it can be done. Why haven't they done it? I mean, there's a, <laughs> and a huge ethical... You know, in a world of yes. corporate reputation, yes. etc. there's a huge advantage just to being first mover on this. Well, maybe you might invite <laughs> the respective four CEOs of the big four supermarkets in this very chair and ask them that question, because it can be done. There you go. And Sounds I like think... a great challenge. Yeah. yeah. Andrew, thanks very much indeed. Good idea. Thank you very much. <laughs>